Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. I'm, I'm trying to get to 30,000 subscribers by June and I feel like we can do it. So help a girl out, hit that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on so you can get notified for every video I post. Today I'm filming my January favorites and I want to try to make it a thing to film my favorites every single month because I feel like it's a cool thing to see what you like in one month versus the other and it's just something cool for me personally to look back on and obviously also for me to share with you guys my favorites. So let's just get right into the video. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I'm getting more into fashion. So a lot of my favorites this month will be fashion based. So we are going to start with my favorite. I wouldn't call it a handbag, but I guess like a fanny pack or a belt bag. I'm not even sure what you would call this, but it is this really cool little fanny pack green bag. It's from the brand Bagu. I think that's how you say it. If I'm not wearing neutrals, I'm wearing green. Green is definitely the accent color of my life right now. And I love the shade of green, like a cool little matcha lime color going on. This bag may look small, but it holds so much. It has two compartments. It has like a bigger one and then obviously the smaller one. So I actually use this as a gym bag right now, but also I use it on the weekends when I'm just like running errands, want to throw like a couple things in there. I am usually a huge purse girl, so like a big tote, um, but whenever I don't like need my camera or anything that's like really bulky, I'll take this because you know, it's perfect. And I love to just like wear it um, like across my body. I think it's such a cool look and I've definitely styled it a bunch over on my Instagram. Um, but the next favorite is actually in this bag because like I said, I've been using it as a gym bag. So these things are called Bala Bangles and I am freaking obsessed with these. It's literally just wrist weights and I don't know why I'm so obsessed with these, but honestly, they are just so aesthetic looking. Each one is two pounds. They also have a one pounder and I was so sad though because I bought these. I'm pretty sure I want to say like over Black Friday or something like that or maybe even before that, but the two pounder doesn't come in the tan color that I was wanting so bad. So hopefully they'll come out with um, one of those. I know that these are a little bit on the pricier side, but honestly, I've already used them so much that it was definitely worth it for me to purchase them. I highly recommend to follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to get back into the healthy lifestyle, eating better, working out. I'm trying to do 12, 3, 30 almost daily. And then I also do some toning arm workouts. I have seen that there are dupes on Amazon of these, so I'll try to find them and I'll link them down below. And obviously everything in this video is going to be linked down below. One more thing I forgot to mention is that you can wear these on your ankles too. So you can do some butt exercises with them. You can just wrap them around your wrist or your ankle. It's a Velcro kind of situation. So just goes like that and that's how you wear them. But sometimes when I'm really sweaty, I'll literally just like hold them like this and do the arm workout because I'm just like, don't really want to deal with all this sweat. All these favorites are in like a random order, so I'm not like ranking them. This was just sitting next to me, so I guess we'll talk about this next. But this is the best powder I've ever had, I've ever found. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. Not to be dramatic, but when I swipe this powder on my face, I feel like I don't see any of my pores anymore. It is truly a perfecting powder. When I swipe it on my face, my pores are instantly gone. My shine is instantly gone. Since I stopped heavily baking, I do get a little bit shiny throughout the day, but I just carry this in my purse. I'm about to get another one. Also, I did hit pan, so I feel like I may have been using this a lot recently or there's not too much product in this, but I feel like it's still worth the money because it's such a good powder. Um, but anyways, I feel like I do get shiny throughout the day. So I'll just put this in my purse or, you know, bring it along when I'm shooting content and just dust it over my face. And it's just such a good refresher throughout the day. Honestly, their whole airbrush flawless finish line is 
so good. You guys know I'm obsessed with their foundation, but unfortunately it's not my color anymore since it's the winter months and I'm like my palest. So I went back to the L'Oreal Pro Glow for now, but I'll definitely be going back to that foundation when I get a little tan on me. This next favorite I feel like I'm seeing on everyone's Instagram stories these days, and it is this glass cup and these glass straws. They're both from Amazon and they're pretty affordable. I love, love, love this glass cup. For some reason, it just looks so aesthetic to me. Pour your matcha in, your iced coffee, a smoothie, anything will look so cute in this dang cup. For some reason, I'm just like randomly obsessed with glassware. My obsession began when I first moved into this apartment and then I was like looking at CB2 and where else? Crate and Barrel. Oh my God, those like cylinder wine glasses. I'm obsessed with those. The thing is, I don't even drink alcohol that often to have all these glassware options, but I caved and bought like random coupes and the wine glasses and just like i don't even know moscow mule cups i'm like when do i drink a moscow mule at home please let me know but i just had to have them in my cabinet so this is definitely an everyday cup and i need to like find a way to make those glassware options like an everyday cup not an everyday cup, but like just use them every day. Um, one girl said that you could use the little coops or like a cocktail glass as a dish to serve dessert in. And I was like, that is so smart. So I think I might just do that because I just really don't use them that often, but they're just so aesthetic looking. And I'm just obsessed with glassware. How can you not be? It's so cute. This month I have some shoes to show y'all and I've been obsessed with these Dolce Vita heels. So I have them in black and the nude with the clear straps. I will say that they do take a couple times to break in, you know, they're not very comfortable the first few times, obviously, because your skin is like rubbing up against this like rubber one, especially the nude ones. They are a little bit worse than the black ones because this is not that rubber material. Um, but these are the perfect shoe because the heel height is not too high and it's not too low so it gives you a little bit of height and you know you feel like a bad bitch walking down the street but you're not extremely uncomfortable you can dress them up or down and on the heel of both of them they have this like snake skin texture i mean you can't really see it when you're like looking at your whole outfit but i think it's cool that they have that little detail i've been seeing a lot of dolce vita shoes everywhere i feel like it's a maybe not so up and coming because i feel like it's an established brand but i'm only really hearing of it within the past year so i'm definitely gonna have to take a look at their site and see what else shoes that i might need in my wardrobe i couldn't tell y'all how many beanies i've bought over the past years and never worn or never touched i mean like maybe once throughout the winter but this beanie right here has been my best friend for some reason, I'm just so drawn to the color of it, the chunkiness of it. This is from Abercrombie, and actually this week I posted on my story what is a product that I've influenced you guys or recommended to you guys that you bought and loved. And a couple of you guys said that they started shopping at Abercrombie after seeing my videos and my posts about it. So it makes me so happy because Abercrombie is literally one of my top stores that I shop at now. So I'm curious if you've been watching my videos for a while or have been following me on Instagram, leave a comment down below of something that you have bought that I recommended to you that you have loved. Back to this beanie, it's so comfortable. It keeps me super warm. I mean, it's really not that cold in Austin, but I'm a big, baby when it comes to the cold. So this has been a lifesaver while making me look super cute. For the last few favorites, I thought it'd be easier to show you guys how I style them instead of just like holding up a pair of jeans and you know, expecting you guys to know what they look like. And speaking of jeans, we'll get into my next favorite. I have been obsessed with straight leg jeans. Anything straight leg, give it to me. I also just bought a couple from Urban Outfitters because I'm literally on the hunt for the perfect straight leg jean. I really haven't found them yet, but this favorite definitely comes close. This pair of denim is from Abercrombie, and I would say that these are really good dupe for the Zara TikTok jeans, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I will say these jeans are a little bit darker wash, and they're thicker, but I personally like that they are a little bit thicker because whenever I'm eating and have like a little food baby, it sucks me in a little bit more and they're just a little bit more structured, which I kind of like. If I'm remembering correctly, they also have the same kind of rips like in the same spot, so they look pretty identical. Honestly, I've been tempted to cut off the bottoms because I just love like a distressed raw hem, 
but I think I'm gonna keep them stitched a little bit longer. I've been pairing this denim with a lot of my ribbed crop top. I love where they hit me on the waist. I think it's so flattering. And I know that they do have that style in a couple different washes. So obviously the links will be down below, but definitely check them out because I know the Zara jeans do go out of stock very frequently. So if you guys can't get those, definitely try out these. If you guys are not on TikTok, you wouldn't know that yoga pants are making their comeback. Now people are calling them flared leggings. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I feel like I'm definitely still gonna call them yoga pants. I purchased a pair from Splits 59 and I've never ordered anything from them before this, but I wanted to try them out because I saw a couple influencers wearing them and they just really looked so flattering on them. So I got my first pair in the mail and it was before Black Friday and then they had a Black Friday sale and I bought another flared legging and some leggings because I just really like the material of these pants. They're just like really cozy, but also athletic, obviously. Um, so you can wear them to yoga or, you know, probably more of like a low intensity workout, I would definitely say. I personally wear them more for lounging and then wear my set active to do more of my workouts. The waistband isn't as thick as set active, which is kind of nicer when you just really want to lounge around in them. I've been wearing them with my Chaco chilos which i didn't put in this favorites video but i feel like i wear them all the time they literally look exactly like birkenstocks but i feel like they have like a cooler touch so i'm gonna put that link down below anyways and just add it in the video but i've been wearing them with these pants and just running errands and it's perfect my next favorite is this champion nude hoodie i feel like i have had my eyes on this for so freaking long and i finally pulled the plug i think it was during Black Friday. <laughs> I feel like all my favorites are coming from Black Friday. To be honest with you guys, I'm currently going through like a wardrobe refresh this whole past year. As you can tell by my Instagram, probably I've just been wearing a lot more neutrals and kind of like getting rid of the stuff that I don't really love that isn't really quality. And that's why I've been starting to shop at Abercrombie and Urban because their pieces are definitely higher quality. Not saying that I will never shop at like boohoo or misguided anymore because their pieces are cute and very trendy so whenever i need something for like a one-time event or something like that or like a photo shoot i will definitely be shopping there but now i'm really wanting to just invest in my pieces and wear them multiple times so that i get my money's worth so i caved and i finally got this hoodie and i've been loving it it is the perfect oversized hoodie it is thicker than a lot of my other hoodies so it definitely keeps me warm especially it being really cold right now so i don't know if i would wear this hoodie in the summer to be honest because it gets really hot here but it is perfect for right now and I'm obsessed with the nude color. My last favorite is a stunning camel coat from Express and I have been wanting to buy something like this since last winter. I just couldn't pull the plug because they were kind of expensive. So again, I bought this on Black Friday because I wanted, you know, a little bit of money off. I've honestly just been on the hunt for the perfect camel coat and I was honestly a little bit worried because it looked a little bit thin and I just didn't know if it was gonna keep me warm because like I said, I'm a bit dramatic when it comes to cold weather. So I really wanted a jacket that kept me warm. I've been wearing this jacket a lot when I'm getting dressed up and don't wanna wear like a big puffer that just like takes away from my whole outfit and it really does keep me warm i think it's because of the material it's like the wool kind of material it really just keeps all the heat in and it's perfect it has like a little belt tie so there's no buttons which i kind of like just like the simplistic look of it and honestly i think this coat sometimes makes me look a little bit more stylish than i am that wraps up my january favorites i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to see some of these fashion pieces styled or the products in use go follow me on instagram because i'm really trying to post daily content on my instagram story stories, reels. I'm trying to get into reels. You know, there's just so much to do on that platform. Like IGTV, reels, stories, feed. They're probably going to come out with something else next week. Like literally Instagram is forever changing and it's so annoying, but you know, you got to go with it. So go follow me over there. If you guys want to see daily content, I'll have everything I mentioned linked down below. If you guys want to check it out, they are affiliate links. So I do get a little bit of commission off of them. If you have ever used my links, just know that I really, really appreciate you. Let me know if you guys still like watching favorite videos or if you're kind of over them. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.